For 20 years, WIBW has been committed to our Wednesday's children. We introduce you to Kansas kids who need to be adopted. For several years, we worked with Kansas Children's Service League to produce these stories. But tonight, 13's Lori Hutchinson explains how our partner has changed. Um, there was another provider that was supporting the adoption exchange in Kansas and Foster Adopt Connect began that work on July 1st, supporting adoptive families, training adoptive families, and um, also providing support for kinship caregivers. A new agency holds the state contract for Adopt Kansas Kids, and while the provider has changed, the need for families has not. Currently, there are a little over 400 kids in foster care who are waiting adoptive families, and we are recruiting for them through the Adopt Kansas Kids website. While all families have strengths to meet kids where they are, Hedrick says it comes down to making the right match, along with training, patience, and support. Um, the good part about this is that there is additional training and support. There's um, social workers that can walk alongside families in their journeys and really meet them where they're at. And she speaks from experience. Hedrick has added several times to her own family through adoption. I am an adoptive parent. They are 773 seven seven four and two it changes all the time <laughs> um, our family has grown immensely through adoption because we um, we work really hard to keep them connected to their biological families and the supports that they had before they joined our family and so every kid's birthday has um, a lot of folks that are there and with photojournalist Rick Felsberg Lori Hutchinson 13 news for information about becoming an adoptive parent and to see the kids who need forever families, you can call this phone number, 855-ADOPT-KS is what that stands for. You can also browse adoptkskids.org. And a special thanks to Wendy's, who's been our longtime sponsor for Wednesday's Child.